Shall we begin? So, those of us over here at Team Poppy, the people that's been supporting me, standing by my videos, standing by my message, y'all seen me timelessly over and over and over again. From Chicago drill to New York drill, covering the stories of all them young boys who were sent to the cemetery early. We just sat back and spoke about all them burning candles in front of the buildings. All those mothers crying over the casket. May their children rest in peace. So, no matter what anybody say, from my voice, my, vo my voice, the only voice speaking out against drill. Somehow, a lot of talk has been going on. A lot of talking. Which leads to DJ Drewski saying that he's not playing any more drill, gang banging music on the radio no more. Because why? Enough is enough. Because too many of them young boys is piling up and ended up in the, um, in the morgue, in the freezer. Be a toe tag. Next, the mayor decides, right, just to run y'all through the timeline, the mayor decides, you know what, I'm about to hit all these platforms up and have the music pulled, gonna have the music pulled, no more gang banging music, Fat Joe pops up, sits down with the mayor and says a bold face lie, it's not the music, Hit him in the head with the head. Really, Joe? Hit him in the head with the head. Lies. Lies. Now Mano pops up. Okay. It's 11.30 on a Tuesday night. It's been a lot of talk about drill rap, drill music, New York City, connecting violence with the, with the culture. And um, I just wanted to create a conversation with the mayor. We brought Fabio here. We got young B. Love here. We got... Uh, uh, Slow and Bucks here. We got uh, Bleezy here to talk about, you know, what's really happening so the man can get a, a real perspective and a real understanding of what drill rap is and so that, you know, we can, we can have some real dialogue and, and really start to really make things happen. We're going to roll out something together on the whole conversation and we're looking forward to it and I appreciate you, man. Definitely. Lies. Now may know pops up and decides that he wants to be a voice about the drill music to give him an idea of what drill music is well here's how I see it Mano, you and Fat Joe just finished on your on your platform talking about how when y'all catch certain YouTubers, Fat Joe was going to make them drink pee-pee water, toilet water. And you, Mano, you was going to break their neck. So, in your words, Mano, when you see certain dudes on YouTube, you ain't never took the high road. It's on. Because somebody made a video about you that you didn't like. You ain't never taken the high road. You ain't never took the high road. But now all of a sudden, because this mayor decided that he's going to put a stop to drill music. And if he put a stop to drill music, next up is gangster rap. It's right next door. Right next door. So, you may know. Somebody that's never been accepted in the music industry. Never been accepted. You've been trying to get your feet in the ground and really, really, really get out there for a long time. We done seen you go from little Kim's crew to this crew to that crew to even teaming up to somebody that you didn't like and didn't like you, which is Jim Jones. You here now. Now you almost feeling a little bit accepted and you, you can see a light a little bit. And this mayor... It's talking about 
putting a stop and pulling this music down. He has the power to do that. Here's the funny part about it. So now, the music industry is getting scared. Some of you rappers in the music industry, you puppets. Because y'all had nothing to say about all the mothers crying, all the candles burning. Y'all had nothing to say. Y'all act like y'all didn't see it. I was the only voice speaking on this topic. But just like, see, it's like a father that's getting ready to get taken to court for child support. Now he wants to buy a box of pampers because he knows Shorty ain't playing. These are the games that I'm have to watch in front of my face with dudes. Now you're acting like y'all care because it might cost you your career. What they're doing. That's what it took. And people all up in my in my inbox on Instagram talking about, well, at least he's trying to do something. What did he ex what exactly did he do? Have a sit down with the mayor. To make him believe that the music is not really the problem. That drill music, not all, I like some, where you're not dissing the dad. It's not the problem. Mayno, respectfully. If somebody talked about your beautiful mama that passed away, like you said, you ain't taking the high road. These mothers got to listen to... People on the internet, on the radio, do you know? Feels like they be Tuka's moms. Constantly, Tuka moms is on the internet crying with other mothers crying because she try, she's trying to understand. Mayor, I'm talking to you now. Mayor, the mayor, the mother of Tuka. It started in Chicago, so I got to take it back to Chicago. Every time she turns on the radio, she got to hear somebody dedicating a pack to being smoked to her son, who was 16. The tender age of 16. A 16-year-old child can never rest in peace because the airwaves is polluted by lyrical homicide, lyrical genocide. Please don't leave this out of the conversation. Some of that music needs to be taken down. End of discussion. And then from there on, after taking some of that music down, yes, it has to be a discussion from block to block, city to city, town to town. Please don't ask me what I be doing because everything that I do is not a publicity stunt where I got to put it in front of my camera. Behind the scenes, I done been on the, I done been on the phone with D-Thing's family trying to see if I could get him and K-Flock to stop their beef before they went to jail. Then with the Math Hoppers platform, Speaking out against K Flock or rather speaking on behalf of that young brother, trying to speak life into him. So much to the point where you see me on Math Hoffa's platform arguing with Five Guard. After that, right? Speaking life into K Flock. After that, K Flock ended up in jail. For what? Because he hit him in the head with the. He caught a body on camera. Now he's in jail facing the rest of his life. And Hassan Campbell, the dude. Five God, as you know it, that I was that was running with me, part of my pl my platform that I was trying to help. That was our fallout right there. Why? Cause dudes failed him. The big homies misleading the little homies by allowing them to be chaotic. Cause it all looks good until the, until you run into that that brick wall called the penitentiary. So now D Thing is in jail fighting two burner cases. K Flock is in jail facing the rest of his dog on tender life. Have y'all been watching the Bronx drill videos? Breaking down the beefs back and forth. Have you been counting the bodies? So now this mayor, for whatever reasons, decided that, yo, I'm going to pull this. And then all of the puppets pop in. All you puppets start popping up because it's, it's just amazing. Even Tax Stone from jail. Tax Stone from jail said, yo, there's more people dying from drill music than getting rich. It seems like <laughs> the colonizer is sitting up in the office getting rich off of all of these dead bodies. These are the words I switched it up a little bit. But this is what Tax Stone said from prison. And then you know what some people said in the comment section? Who was he to talk? 
He's somebody that had to touch the stove and get burned to learn that he made a mistake. So y'all gonna say tax can't use his voice from the penitentiary so that no more young kids could come to where he's at? Tax Stone is in the in the in the belly of the beast. He's in the belly of the he's with the beast. And he's feeling the fire. Every day he gets to feel that he may not never come home to his family. Isn't it ironic? That Mano was there that night. That night. Nightlife. That's what you call it, Mano. Nightlife. He was there that night. With tax. His shorty got hit. Behind similar things. Internet beefing. It caused the shorty, it caused the shorty to get hit. It caused Tax Stone to be in jail fighting for his life. It caused Banger, the brother of Trife Gangster, to be in the freezer. From the freezer to the morgue. From the morgue to the cemetery. From the cemetery, well, you know the rest. Rest in peace to, peace to Trife. My prayers go out to his mother. My apologies go out to Trife Gangster. Trife might not accept that apology. Because when you diss the dead, ain't no turning back. So how do we deal with this, Mano? I will stand behind Mano, Fat Joe, and anybody else that tells the truth and try to get some of this off the airwave and start and, and stop that. We ain't gotta be friends. None of I don't like I don't have I, I I will never have a seat at Satan's table. I will never dance with Satan's children. I understand what the industry is. But at the same time, we all got a fight on our hands. Or maybe, maybe just me, because like I said, the only thing that forced these dudes' hands to speak on this situation is the fact that my voice is being heard. That's why they watering down my platform and shaving my views and throwing half of them in the garbage. I get 10,000 views easy in the first hour. After the first hour, they make my, my views decrease. I consistently came in with numbers, 100 to 200,000 views, less than 24 hours every day. Now the FBI sitting on this platform shaving points off because my voice is being heard. There's billions of dollars that's being spent to keep you dumb. Watching the Super Bowl while all over the world people are standing up for what they believe in. And you taking a seat or better yet watching Eminem taking a knee. Like he about to put a peck in his. I pray, Mayor Adams, that you do the right thing. Shouldn't no mother have to listen to their child become a pack. May know you said it yourself. You ain't never took the high road. Ain't nobody never, ever, ever smoked on your brother or your mother, Mayo. May your beautiful mother rest in peace. And <laughs> Mano ain't taking the high road on that. Mano ain't no sucker. Fat Joe don't even like people talk talking about him. He said they gonna drink pee pee water. He ain't that big. So now y'all expecting the children to be bigger than y'all? What a hypocrite. Hit that like, hit that share, hit that subscribe button. Get to talking about it. This is the topic of, of, of all topics right now. Share this video. Talk about this video. It don't make a dude a hero because he's forced. His hand is forced. You got to play the food in front of you when somebody just ah, slapped it down. Like, nah, you can't eat. Get to work. If they stop drill music, gangster rap is next. My question to all of you cats out there. What would God for those of y'all that believe in God, for those of y'all that believe in Jesus, for those of y'all that follow the, the Sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him. What would your prophets have to say about drill music? Would it be accepted? Can a drill, can a drill rapper make it into paradise? If he die in a state of disbelief and a state of sin? Hmm.